Before my semester of study abroad in Spain, I actually had done quite a lot of traveling in the United States, thanks to an internship that I had had. But what I had never done was taken advantage of public transportation. This was my first trip abroad, and it was also my first time to use a taxi, a train, a public bus, the metro or subway system, and the first time to ride in a commercial airliner. So definitely a lot of public transportation there. Um, what surprised me was that most of the time the public transportation systems were clean and they were safe. I didn't feel threatened at all. In the United States, most trips require a short drive. However, in Spain, private vehicles are seldom an option for student tourists. That's why it is essential to know the transportation options that are available for you. For long distance travel within the country, the best option is usually to ride the train. Spain's largest railway system is operated by Renfe, which is a Spanish acronym for the National Network of Spanish Railways. From Madrid, it is possible to reach almost any region of Spain by railway. In 1992, Renfe created a new line of high-speed trains named AVE that travel at around 186 miles per hour. AVE is a Spanish acronym for Alta Velocidad Española, or the Spanish High Speed. But the word AVE also means bird in Spanish. For travel between close towns, buses are a more reasonable option. Regional buses are usually quicker than trains and less expensive. Different bus companies operate in different regions. La Sepulvedana, for example, offers convenient trips from Segovia to Madrid. Once reaching your destination, there are several options for traveling within a city. Some have city buses that continuously loop throughout the city. If in a hurry, taxis are a quicker solution, but they are more expensive. The best option for traveling in larger cities is usually the metro or subway. Spanish subways don't fit into the stereotype of a dark and dangerous underworld. Spaniards and tourists alike frequently take advantage of this convenient mode of transportation. Metro trains run frequently and visit the most popular locations of a city. Usually, you pay once to enter the metro system. Afterwards, you can travel freely throughout the network, changing trains if necessary until you reach your final destination. Using public transportation may seem scary but it is actually a very safe and economical way to travel while abroad. Of course, you do need to guard your valuables from pickpockets, but that's true no matter where you are. Public transportation is a part of the study abroad experience and reveals a cultural element that you can't see elsewhere. Madrid is approximately the 50th most populous metropolitan area in the world, yet it holds claim to the sixth largest metro system in the world. And among its neighbors in Western Europe, Spain's metro is second only to the London Underground. Of course, the cheapest type of transportation is to walk. Luckily, smaller Spanish towns usually develop in concentrated areas, meaning that you can find most of what you need within a short walking distance. Although Spain uses asphalt and cement, many of the streets and sidewalks in Spain are made of stone. 
as you can see, the stones here are a little different and they're a little more dangerous because they're a little more uneven, but they're pretty old and either they're made out of this big block or this cobblestone. Some sidewalks in Spain go beyond functionality. In the southern region of Andalusia, for example, many sidewalks feature intricate mosaics. This style came to Spain with the Moors, who ruled in Andalusia until 1492. In order to create these beautiful designs, workers carefully choose and place each stone in a process that takes days to complete. One thing tourists noticed when visiting Europe for the first time is how narrow the city streets are. Years ago, this width was sufficient. However, today's motorized vehicles require more space. Due to these narrow streets, limited parking space, and fuel prices, many Europeans are choosing to buy compact cars. The Daimler Chrysler Company recently created a remarkably small vehicle that can be spotted driving through the streets of Spain. In 1998, they introduced the smart car, which seats two people. This car gets 66 miles per gallon and is 85% recyclable. The core structure consists of what they call the Tridion safety cell, which is basically a safety cage made out of high-strength steel. The colored panels, however, are made of lightweight plastic and can be changed in 90 minutes. Currently, the smart car is available in over 30 countries, excluding the United States. Daimler Chrysler expects to release a four-passenger smart car in the United States in 2006. According to factbook.net, the United States has 787 vehicles per 1,000 people, while Spain only has 488 per 1,000.